Hiya hedgehogs, it's me again, Miss Y. I've got another activity for us to do. If you hear some rustling in this video, it's because the gerbils are just in their cage next to me and they're very busy at work. I thought we could think about numbers. I'm sure you've been doing lots of counting, especially when you're out on those walks, counting leaves, sticks and all sorts. You are going to need a tray. I covered my tray in salt, but you might have something like rice or flour to cover your tray in. The idea is that when we get busy, we'll be able to use our fingers and write on this tray. So I'm just gonna write a zero on here for you to see. So this is how it will work when we get going. It's really good fun. You will need two dishes. Something to count. I've chosen my favourite ice cubes, but you might have pasta or Lego. I've got some number cards. We'll play together, but if you play again another time, a grown-up could make some of these especially for you, or you could make some on your own and play against a grown-up in your family. Okay, let's get started. So, I'm going to place these cards down in front of me, and in a minute, I'm going to choose one. Hmm, just going to close my eyes. Oh, which one will I... Oh, I'm choosing this one. Oh, have a look, it's got some stars on it. Now, I like to do quite careful counting, so I'm going to count these stars very carefully with my finger touching each one. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you see my careful counting? If you're feeling very clever, you might count it in twos, watch. Two, four, six. Now, I need to try and write the number six on my special tray. I'm just having to think what a six looks like. I know. It starts at the top, goes down, and curves back round. There's my number six. This pattern reminds me of the one I see on a dice. I'm going to draw that at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Uh, I'm going to clear my tray. I'm going to put that one at the side because I've finished that one. Here I go again. Closing my eyes. Da, 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 da. Oh, going for this one. Oh. I don't think I need to count this one. I think I can just look at it and I know what it is. I think this is three. What do you think? One, two, three. Let me just count. One, two, three. I got it right. Hmm. Three is quite a curvy number. I'm going to start it at the top. I'm going to have a go at drawing it on here. Here I go. Round and around. Three is a good number. If you look at the points where it uh, goes into the middle, you can see there are three different ones. One, two, three. Number three. Three spots at the side. Three love hearts. Good news, we've done that one. Right, I'm clearing it. Go for another one. Du, 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 du. Oh, this one. Oh, hmm. I wonder if you can look at that and know what number it is. Or do you need to count? I'm having a look. Mm, I think it reminds me of a dice pattern for a number five. I'm just going to count and check. Here I go. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, what does a five look like? I'm just going to think. I'm just going to draw it in the air. I think it's the one that goes mm, across, down, and around. I'll just have a go at drawing it on my special tray. Here I go. And around. My goodness, that's the number five. I think I'm right. I'm just going to see if I can draw five little spots on here. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, everybody. We've done five. Let's do five plaits. One, two, three, four, five. Show me five. Good news. Right. These look a bit bigger, so I'm thinking they might be numbers that are in the tricky teens. I'm going to give it a go. Here I go. Four. I'm going to choose. This one. Wow, there are a lot of little circles on there. Mm. I think the best thing to do is to count it very carefully. Here I go. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh my goodness, what does a sixteen look like? Oh, I remember the teen numbers always start with a a one, so I'll definitely put a one first. One, sixteen. There's a clue. I heard six, so it must be a one and a six. Here I go. Oh, I'm just going to try. Down I go and all the way round. Wow, I feel very proud of myself. That is a tricky number. If you were feeling really clever, I think you might be able to count this in twos. Let's have a go. Two, four six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Good job everybody. I'm going to rub it out. That means there's only one left for me to have a go at. Here I go. Da, 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 da. Oh, let's have a look at this one. Hmm. I wonder if it matters which way up I look at it and which way I count it. Hmm. I think I'm going to count it like this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's five on that top line. Oh, so that must mean there's five on that line as well. Five and five more is ten. So I know there's ten. Oh, and two more. Hmm. Ten, eleven, twelve. This is a number that tricks a lot of hedgehogs. But how do you write a number 12? Is it a one and a one? I think that's 11. It's the one after 11, 12. So if that's a one and a one, this must be a one and a two. I'm going to have a go. This is what I think 12 looks like. A one, because it's a teen number, and a big curvy two. Wow, look at that, a 12. Well done, everybody. Now, I'm sure that your mum and dad or you could make yourself lots of these cards to play with and maybe even play with your brother and sister to make it a game between you. I'm going to move on to another game now. This time, we're going to think about something quite tricky, so we might need the tray still. This time, we're going to need our ice cubes, or if you've got pasta and Lego, you can use that. You're going to need two dishes, and we're going to think about this. I'm just going to put it in the middle. One line and another line. Hmm, I can't remember what that means. Can you remember? I think it's a special sign. We do it with our fingers like this. It's a plus sign. And we know when we're adding things together that we end up with a bigger number. So we're going to have a go at this game. On my special strips of paper, there are some special number sentences. I'm going to lay them down. And we're going to choose a few and have a go at working them out. Oh my goodness, this is going to be tricky. Let's try it. These are going to help us a lot. Are you ready? Here I go. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm choosing this one first. Oh, let's have a look. So we've got four and three. Mm. Now, how could I work this out? I could use this bowl and put four things in it. Let's count together. One, two, three, four. There's the plus sign. I've got that on my table. Now in this bowl, I need, is it four? Is it two? It's three. I'm going to do three. Here we go. One, two, three. To find out how many four add three is all together, I'm going to tip them out now and count how many there is. Oh, that pineapple's trying to get away. Let's see. So four add three more makes, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Now you can have a go at writing seven 
in your special tray. Or you could try and write the number sentence. So four, add three equals seven. Oh, that was a bit tricky to fit in, but I just managed it. Good news. Right, I'm going to put that one to the side. Put these back over here. Put my dishes ready. Here I go again, choosing another one. Mm -mm. I'm going for this one this time. Oh, this looks a bit trickier. Mm, not sure what that number is. I'm just trying to think. Hmm. I think it might be a number eight because I've seen it with the curve. So eight. What does this mean again? Plus or add. And we know this one. Four. So the first thing I'm going to do is count eight objects into my bowl. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight in there. And now I can see the plus sign. I need mm, how many in this bowl? You're right, four. One, two, three, four. How am I going to find out what that makes all together? You're right. I'm going to tip them out and count them because they're going into one big group now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's that number we were thinking about earlier. Twelve now. It's not the one and the one. It's the one and the two. So eight add four makes twelve. Can you believe it? We're doing this hard maths, no problem. Off I go again. I wonder what I'll get this time. Got my bowls. Oh, I hope it's not too tricky, but I'm going to try so hard. I'm good at counting. Oh, what do you think? oh, this one looks like a good one. Three. Add. Is that five? Let me think for a minute. Oh, it's the one that looks like a five. It's not. It's two. Three. Add two. Oh, this one won't take me long, I'm sure. Easy. One, two, three. And then in this bowl, two. One, two, three. Add two. Let's tip them out and see what it makes all together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Let's write a five. Oh. Cross, down, and around. There's my five. Three plus two makes five. Here's my five. That one I think we could have worked out on our fingers quite easily. One, two, three, add two more. Makes five. Good news. Right, let's do two more. Are you ready? Mm. Oh. Hold on a minute. I don't think we need to use our counting equipment to work this one out. I've noticed that it is nine. Add one more. Do we know what one more than nine is without using all our equipment? I think we do. When we count, what's the next number we say after nine? Ten. You're right. So nine, add one more, or one more than nine is ten. The first two digit number, a one and a zero. You're so clever, hedgehogs. Okay, here we go, the last one. Du, 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 du. Oh, what? This one has got three numbers to add together. Ten, we just have that. Add Three, add one more. Right, I definitely need to use my counting equipment. Here I go, I'm going to put ten in the first bowl. I'm going to count them in twos. Two, four, six, 
eight, ten. So I've got ten in there. Then I need to add three to this bowl. One, two, three. I haven't got another bowl, so I'm just going to put the one more at the side there. I'm going to tip them all out now and count them to find out what the answer is when they're all together. So 10 add 3 add 1 makes, I wonder what it's going to be. Let us see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Ooh, 14, team numbers start with a 1, four, the clue's in it, 14, so we need a 4, 14, so 10, add 3, add 1, makes 14, wow, look at this long line, I'll show you the last two that we're not going to do, but you could have a go, this was the next one. Five, add, hmm, what's that number? And then this one. Hmm. I don't know if you know what it's called when you add the same number to itself. I think it's called a, 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 a double. See if you can carry on playing these games. I know that, that you'll have lots of fun. Okay, hedgehogs, see you soon. Bye.